Well, a number of schools will start their Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddles next week, including Salina, Van Wert, and Coldwater, who all kick off one week from today. Right now, Andy tells us about one FCA group that hasn't stopped meeting together all summer long. The Sean's household has been packed each Monday with Alan East students as they prepare for the upcoming year, giving the graduating seniors a piece about the FCA's future. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a, a lot of people kind of step up, and obviously we've got, we got a house here to come to, and we've got a lot of people coming to. Uh, to we've studied, studied every Monday, and, and a lot of people have learned and, and uh, really took charge this, this summer, which has been cool to see. It's a lot of fun. It's good to have people around us, you know, talking about Jesus and keeping it going through the summer. Every year we start and there's always, we're always ready to see these great things happen in our school and God to do some really cool things, but there's always a lot of spiritual opposition and warfare and this summer is all about getting us ready to stand firm and to just be able to fight, um, to stand on our own two feet and to help each other out and just keep a spirit of unity and fight together and see God do some amazing things at Allen East. I like to see a lot more people come and instead of just saying that they're going to do things, really take action and live out their lives for God. We do do a uh, monthly 24-hour prayer where we get just people to sign up just to pray for the school um, for like half-hour slots for an entire 24-hour period, which is pretty neat. And Maddie Shans fulfilling her ALS Ice Bucket Challenge on this night by nominating... And Andy Lynch! The kids are excited to come get me. Go ahead, kids, dump it. That's cold. For the sports report. I'm Andy Lynch. <laughs> 